Hello everyone. So this video is a subsequent video to my previous one where I have told how to put NCIS job on high performance facility at Kanpur, IT Kanpur. Now, so I in that video I told you there was two files, rbc.dat and rbc.journal file. So uh, due to the some limitations, I am going to tell you both the files in all together uh, recording limitation I was talking about. So uh, so this highlighted part, save it as a rbc.dat file and this part, uh, save it as a rbc.journal file. So this is how you are going to save or journal. So this first name could be any name, but this journal file. So now let me explain one by one. So this is the rbc.dat file. So here, in uh, if you are running your simulation on a small facility of a, a small uh, node, large node and uh, medium node. This is, I think this is the nomenclature. If something else, please forgive me. And so if you are running at a small, then uh, you will need to choose appropriate nodes and processor that you can find in their uh, help PDF of HPC. Now let's say for example, I have chosen node 2 and processor 20. So this is going to be 1 and this is going to be product of that 20 and into 2, 40. And this is a small that I was talking about. This is the folder in the mobile X term. So just uh, click on the top and you just copy paste here. Copy paste everything here, rest of things here. So this change 40 every time here. So if let's say you're choosing 4 and 20, so this would be 80 here. And this is the RBC dot uh, journal file. Okay, so this is the file RBC dot journal I was talking about. So you put RBC dot journal. One advice, if you are running 2D simulation, make it 2. If you are running 3D, make it 3 and copy paste rest of the thing. Okay, so just you can just type it. This is very small code and do not keep, I am repeating, do not keep everything in the same folder. Remove this. Okay, and uh, open a separate notepad file where you will save this as extension.joiu journal file. So in the journal file, this gives you the transcript file while running the simulation where you can see how many iterations it has run. This is the case file I talked about in my previous video. This is the time step that you choose that is 0 0.05 and this 30, 360,000. So this is basically I'm running my simulation for 5 hours so 5 into 3600 seconds upon 0 0.05 time step. So this is the total time step in the total uh, time of simulation. And in one time step, how many iterations I'm running? 100. So but your solution can convert even for that. So one uh, thing I forgot to tell you in my previous video. So if before running, before submitting your job, what you can do, you can open the HPC facility like this. Okay. And then you can just copy paste this everything till fluent. In the next, press enter. A new window of fluent, uh, fluent ANSYS fluent will open where you can just import the case file and then initialize it, run it. Then for just one iteration or two iteration, just to have the data file and just to check whether your case file is running on SPC or not, or else you'll be waiting and then eventually you're, uh, you'll get an error. So you just, then what you do, you just uh, import those case and data file to your mobile XTERM folder in the existing folder. Okay. And then you start submitting the job, DOS to Unix and all. You can watch in, in the previous video. So I'll make another video for NCIS, how to put a boundary conditions and how how to change, how to uh, make NCIS write your parameters, for example, a uh, NASAL number and all. I will make another video on NCIS. So thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, do tell me if you need any other help.